In this question, we're told the events A and B are such that the probability of A is 0 0.4, probability of B is 0 0.5, and probability of A union B is 2 times the probability of A in set B. For starting this question, to help out in a moment, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say the probability of A in set B is equal to X. Now, in order to find the probability of A in set B, remember when it says show that, we're trying to find it and just confirm that this answer is true. I'm going to use the addition law, which states probability of A union B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A in set B. Now, initially, it might not look like this is particularly useful, but if we put substitute in A and B as normal, that's fine. But if we substitute in the probability of A union B is equal to 2x, then we'll be able to solve this problem. So I get 2x is equal to 0 0.4 plus 0.5, and minus the probability of A and set B, which is x. So if I add x to both sides, I get that 3x equals 0.9, and then dividing by 3, we get that x, which equals probability of A and set B, equals 0.3 as required. OK, so that's part A dealt with. Most times when we're trying to work out that the intercept, we're going to use the addition law. It's just a slight twist on the question there. Part B, we're looking at finding some conditional probabilities. In order to find these, I'm going to draw myself a Venn diagram and just read them straight off the Venn diagram. So there's the whole set. We're going to call this set here A. We're going to call this set here B. Now remember the key to this diagram is the intersect. So the intercept we've just found is 0 0.3. That means the two sections of the set of A must add up to 0 0.4. So the other section must be 0 0.1. So it adds up to 0 0.4. For B, it must add up to 0 0.5. So one section is 0 0.3. The other section must be 0 0.2. These three here total up to 0 0.6. So the remaining probability outside of A and the sets of A and B is 0 0.4. So then the probability of A given B Well, the probability of A given B, what we're told is that it's in B, so it's out of this probability of 0.5. So it's no longer out of 1, it's out of a probability of 0.5. And what's the probability that's in A? Well, it's this probability here, the part that is in A, so it's 0.3 out of 0.5, or 3 fifths. Finally, it says evaluate probability of B given not A. So probability of B given that it's not A. So if we look at the diagram, not A is these two probabilities here. So probability is no longer 1, it's out of 0 0.6. And the probability that is in B is the section that's in B, so that's the 0 0.2. So we get 0 0.2 over 0 0.6, which simplifies as a fraction to one third. OK. So let's have a look to see how the marks are awarded in this question. Uh, so in this question, initially we are given a method mark for substituting in and trying to use the relationship between probability of A union B and A intersect B. And then finally we get an answer mark for a convincing argument that gets us to X uh, to probability of A intersect B equals 0.3 as required. Part B uses method mark if we've got 0 0.3 over 0 0.5 and an answer mark if it simplifies to give us 3 fifths or 0.6 and then part C exactly the same marking method mark if we've got the probabilities lined up as we have and answer mark if you simplify it to one third. Actually, that will give you a method mark and an answer mark, so I missed a mark up there. Okay, so I hope you followed the explanation for that solution and that you understood how to mark that question.